A little girl who nearly lost her life is now back home, getting back to a sense of normalcy. Eight-year-old Paige Baird spent weeks in a Grand Rapids hospital, recovering after she broke her neck. Just last week, the Hemlock football team and the whole community went all out to honor Paige and her family, doing push-ups for Paige to cheer her on. TV5's James Felton talked with Paige today about what she's most excited about now that she's home. That was the hardest thing to do was to watch them fly over top of me on 131 on their way to Grand Rapids and I didn't know what I was going to get to once I got to the hospital. Jason Baird talking about the day he almost lost his daughter. On July 18th, eight-year-old Paige Baird fell off a deck and broke her neck. She was paralyzed. Paige wasn't breathing. Ultimately, her life was saved. And today, Paige is fighting to walk again one step at a time. On Thursday, she came home after spending almost two months in the hospital. Very emotional day yesterday. And Paige tells us she will be back here at school on Monday. I keep missing my friends that when I was at the hospital, so I'll be able to see them. And what makes me scared is like tripping, falling, people staring at me weirdly. The motto here in Hemlock is no Husky stands alone. The sports teams have adopted the mantra push-ups for Paige, a gesture that has helped Paige deal with the hard times. It's been motivating me to get through tough days like in therapy. So whenever I have a rough day in therapy, I ask my mom to pull out her phone and get, show me a push-up video, and that usually works. Paige understands how close she came to death that fateful July day. She tells us she appreciates every day a lot more now. Excited that I'm still here, and I'll be able to play with my dog, Diesel, and my sister and my friends again. Doctors say it could be two years before Paige is fully healed. At the moment, it is unclear how much the little girl will recover. But one thing is clear, Hemlock is behind her no matter what. And for that, her father Jason is grateful. It's just amazing, amazing when you don't ask for help, but you get it, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Reporting in Saginaw County, James Felton, WNEM TV5.